Melody, uh, you want to go through the weather, please? Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. So the weather continues to still look pretty good for the launch attempt on Saturday. Um, the flow has become onshore this morning, so let's go ahead and look at satellite and um, so we can go ahead and talk, to, talk about what's happening right now. Um, and as satellites being pulled up, you can see there's actually a very weak trough positioned off to our north. And uh, if, if you're able to focus your eyes just north of the Space Coast, you can see some thunderstorms forming close to Daytona this morning. Um, basically, that's indicative of onshore flow starting up. And we did see that with our morning weather balloon uh, that was uh, put up in the air earlier this morning. Um, so with that onshore flow regime starting, it should strengthen as we get into Saturday, and that will likely do us some favors as we get into the later portion of the launch window uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, again, we are expecting our weather to start off a little bit dicey as we get into the 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock time frame. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, since I'm already talking about the launch window weather, we'll go ahead and flip to that next slide of looking at that. Um, so our weather is going to start off at a 40% probability of violation, which of course means a 60% go. Um, however, we do start evaluating the weather three hours before the launch window opens. So of course, that's right around 11 o'clock or so. So I do expect to make some no-go calls at some point tomorrow. However, as that East Coast sea breeze drifts farther inland, we do expect clearing on the back side of that. And that is because that is uh, the reason why we are trending the forecast to more of an 80% favorability at the end of the launch window tomorrow afternoon. So now we can go ahead and flip to the backup forecast, and that is on Monday afternoon and evening time frame. Uh, I have the same numbers that I gave you yesterday, basically a 70% uh, probability of go. However, uh, there's a little bit more uncertainty in this forecast than what we had before. Uh, previously, it did seem like we'd have a pretty steady easterly flow. At this point in time, it does seem like we're going to have a ridge right on top of us in the mid-level layers of the atmosphere. And because of that, it's kind of uh, splicing the flow a little bit more than we expected. Uh, to the north of us, we're expecting uh, more on the side of westerly flow, and to the south of us, uh, we're expecting easterly flow. So of course, we're smack dab in the middle there, and that gives us a very, very light flow regime, and it could almost go either way. So with a forecast like that, uh, basically we're, we're going to be focused on the weather with those inland sea breeze boundaries. And sometimes uh, with that kind of situation, uh, we can see some anvils floating back towards us in general in the late uh, afternoon and evening time frame. So because of that, I did go ahead and add the anvil rule into the backup launch window. But in any case, like I said yesterday, I do not expect weather to be a showstopper by any means for every for e either launch window. Perfect. Thank you, Melody.